Hello everyone, I'm Glenn Flowers, your flathead catfish expert. The topic I want to focus on today is the age and growth of the flathead catfish. Now quantification of age and growth is a vital component for understanding the ecology and life history of any species. Now this is especially important for introduced species like the flathead catfish. Now comparison among growth rates reported for flathead catfish in rivers versus reservoirs and native versus introduced populations reveal several trends. Now native flathead catfish growth in reservoirs tend to be faster on average than that of river populations. Flatheads average 22 inches at age 5 in reservoirs but only 19 inches in rivers. 27 inches was attained between ages 5 and 9 for reservoir fish and between ages 6 and 11 for river fish. In general, introduced river populations show faster growth rates than that of native river populations. In some places where flatheads have been introduced like Florida and other southerly states that have short winters and long growing seasons, flatheads can reach upwards of 50 pounds in just 10 years versus not obtaining this weight until ages 20 further north. My research review defined general trends in flathead growth rates in populations in reservoirs grow faster than those in rivers. Introduced populations grow faster than native populations and eastern U.S. populations grow faster than those in western states. Now, exceptions to these trends include studies by McKinley and Deacon in 1959. Most investigators have used pectoral spines to age flathead catfish, and the, revolt, and the results may variably be biased, especially for older fish. Nash and Irwin from 1993 study compared odalis and pectoral spines for use in aging flathead catfish and determined that odalis yielded a more accurate age estimate than that of the spine. Uh, especially for older fish. Now, a flathead catfish mortality rate has very rarely been studied in this species' native range, and I found almost no mortality rates reported for populations of the, of the flathead catfish that have been introduced to a new range. The only published mortality rate estimated for an introduced population of flathead catfish was done by Quinn in 1993, who estimated annual fishing mortality for the Flint River uh, to be about 14 to 25 percent. Now, it's been said that flatheads are only 50 percent done growing at 100 pounds. Now, flatheads have been historically reported to reach 200 pounds from early fish markets in the 1800s. These large genes have almost been eradicated over the years due to overharvesting large fish and migration routes being severed. In conclusion, flatheads today in most cases will only reach about 20 years of age and weigh between 50 and 70 pounds. Why exceptions are still out there with some flatheads exceeding 50% of their growth rate of 100 pounds, it may take upwards of 40 plus years for a flathead to obtain this weight in northern regions. While flatheads grow faster in the south, they tend to live shorter lives than northern flatheads. So guys, what all this breaks down is, we've got to keep putting those big fish back. We need to reestablish our big fish gene get these 100 pounders coming back because as of today, still today, there is only one, possibly two, flatheads that have been verified to weigh over 100 pounds that have been caught on rod and reel. We've got to change that, guys. So this is my conclusion on the flathead catfish age and growth rate. And thanks for watching my video, guys. And if you like what you see here on my channel, don't forget to hit this button right here and just subscribe to my channel. I'll have some more videos coming here in the future. And uh, good luck out there, guys. And Capture, picture release as always. Thanks.